you might say Pocketbook is quite well versed in making e-readers. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. This is the latest 2023 October release of a Pocketbook device. This one is the Pocketbook Verse model number PB629. Depends on where you live, they'll either identify things by the model number or the name or both. This is the bright blue edition. It has a 6-inch display. 1024 by 758 this one is not Carta 1200 but don't worry they got you covered with pocketbook cloud support USB-C and a micro SD card slot I absolutely love the pocketbook boxes nowadays look at this it is so nice they got this flimsy cardstock sleeve on the outside but that doesn't matter because they have a beautifully crafted almost really hard paper mache style curved box i think the stylistic properties of this is amazing it's fairly stiff as well it's a good card stock it is not cardboard it's not corrugated but that's neither here nor there let us look at the rest i think they have that red thing in here that shows the guy falling and then dying because he didn't have the parachute there he is or he did have a parachute but he didn't have a case or something there he is <laughs> i love this they've been doing this for years and it does make sense honestly e-readers are kind of fragile in in a way i mean they're usually not made out of aluminum for the most part they're made out of plastics and when you drop them bezels are getting smaller nowadays guys so if you do have a case it will be more protected you got your warranty information your quick start guide your don't throw away in the garbage can thing and your usb c cable now i noticed this didn't have a dongle in it I'm not sure if the Verse Pro has a dongle in it, that's a different device altogether, but we will see what we can see because a lot of devices do come with the audio dongle so you can use audio features because I don't believe this has a speaker on it, but my god, look at that. Gorgeous seafoam green. I love it. Pocketbook on the bottom right corner. It is flattened and a little bit raised. I think there's some raised lettering going on there. Nothing on the top. SD card beautifully tucked away on the side. That is the SD, right? Wow, look at that. I thought it was a speaker for a second. That's a very nice place to put it. And they show you the direction in which to put it because there's a little chisel on the SD card itself. A little bit of information on the side there. I'll try to catch some light. There you go. Regulatory information, FCC stamps, all that. I love this backing. Very nice. The thing about textured backing is that it doesn't show fingerprints because there's very little surface area between the grooves where it can create a full fingerprint. So you'll notice that when we do some of our other videos, we try to print the back because these are just small little design things that we need to point out. They've really downsized their buttons. Their buttons are tiny now at the bottom. I think it's very classy to put them this nice little row. It's almost like a pleasantry they put it there. It's like, okay, well, there's no buttons on it, but there's kind of little tiny buttons on the lip and they lip up. They're very... They're curved in such a way where they bump up, so they actually give you a little bit of a tactile feel to know where the buttons are. I love it. Let's do a first time boot up just to show you guys what is going on. Oh, we got apps. Time to download Google Play. No, it doesn't have apps in the traditional Android sense, but they do have some things like Scribble, Chess, Klondike, Sudoku, a couple things like Dropbox, etc. We will be going over this whole thing, and we will be doing a software update prior to the review just in case things change, but it does look like it is pretty much business as usual. You know what I would like to see on this, and we haven't done an update yet? I would like to see a speed mode, something. It doesn't have to be extreme, doesn't have to be 60 frames a second, but I just want to see Pocketbook implement some sort of A2, some sort of just softened refresh, just something to give it a little bit of boost because these are the outliers in the industry outside of the big three, Amazon, Kobo, Barnes & Noble, but still in a position where they don't do Android, they don't do Google Play, they don't do speed modes, they don't do onboard twin speakers and cameras and stuff like that, although they did have a camera at one point, way back when. Pocketbook is the outlier of one of the only manufacturers that does just ebook reading, and I kind of like that. I don't want them to muddy it up with a lot of things like Google Play. I'm just saying it would take them to the next step because they've been doing this for many, 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 many devices. The same thing on almost every Every single one of their devices but we won't know until the full review this is everything that comes in the box with a brand new pocketbook verse by pocketbook one of the longest standing members in the e-reader world stay tuned for the full review